ุนสวรรค์แล้วก็คุนสวรรค์ไปทางทีเป็นสัมเนื้อเรียกทองนี่พุนสวรรค์สัมเนื้อเรียนทองอาจารย์วันนี้กับมันโอเค so right โอเคเวียงคำพับสิบนองเขียวนองเขียวนองเขียวเวียงคำเวียงคำพับสิบกิโลเมตรเวียงคำเวียงคำนาเมืองเมืองเฮียมเมืองเฮียมเมืองเฮียมมันมันก็นาสิบสิบแปดสิบแปดสิบแปดสิบกิโลเมตรเบสิบเมืองเฮียมนำเนินนำเนินเฮ็บซิบเฮ็บซิบไอ้ขอบใจละลาย I've already started climbing I'm in my lowest gear creeping along at about six kilometers per hour and uh, set myself a nice easy day today well I say I set myself The position of the guest house is is really what set my day because there's a a guest house in about 50 kilometers. Yeah, it's pretty tricky trying to plan all this because what I use for navigation on the road is Maps.me, and that's really good. Except that all the place names. Are different to the place names given on Google Maps, and then I also have a paper map, and on the paper map there are different names again. Wow! I've just spotted. What is this? That is a very skinny-looking cow. The cows have horns. I don't know. Maybe it's a bull. They look pretty sharp. Those horns. <laughs> I think I scared it away. If its plan is just to run ahead of me in the road, then it's going to have a long run. <laughs> Oh well, nice to have some company for the journey. So far, it's pretty chilly up in the mountains. It's very hilly, and I have no idea where the guest houses are. So I don't know. Maybe part of me feels like I should have stuck to the plan because I could be in nice, warm Cambodia with plenty of guest houses and homestays, but. Hey, this way at least it's a direct bike trip and um, a bit more of an adventure. This cow's still with us. There she goes. Got my lowest gear spinning away, hardly moving. Just how friendly everybody is as you come through the villages. It's just so encouraging. I'm so privileged. To be here and just to see these people, and just even try and interact with them, they just all seem so content. This is effectively rush hour. I remember when I was a kid, I went into town to Argos and I bought a little cycle computer and I fitted it to my mountain bike and I was so excited because. I could see how many miles I was riding, and I could see how fast I was going down the hill. And I remember going to the local park, and there was a hill. There's like a footbridge over the motorway, and I remember pedaling as fast as I could. And I reached 42 miles an hour going down the hill on my mountain bike. <laughs> I was so proud. And there's a picture on the front of the packet of that cycle computer, and. You know, it wasn't too different to this. There was a touring bike like this on the picture, next to some kind of a mountain pass. 
and there was a guy with a camp stove and he's just warming up some soup and this just this little picture on this um cycling computer that I bought and ever since I saw that picture I just, I just really wanted to explore on two wheels and I just didn't realise you could, you could have the fitness to do that on a bicycle and that's why I got into motorcycling because I thought with a motorcycle I could get to some of these places but with a bicycle it's just so much more friendly it's so less intrusive and noisy and polluting and it's quieter and it's actually easier it's less stressful but... Sibidai. 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 Eating this kind of, it looks a bit like tamarind. I'm not sure what it is. Sabadi. Sabadi deer. And there's little baby over there. Sabadi. <laughs> I'm not sure what it is they're eating, but it looks kind of like tamarind or something. But here's another one. <laughs> there's another one. <laughs> Is that why I do? It's a nice little village. Ah, we have the baby. What is this you're reading? Nom 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 nom. <laughs> so I've been climbing all morning and I've done about 27 kilometers, which is crazy. It's about three hours, so I'm averaging less than 10 kilometers per hour, which is um, a little bit concerning. Especially if I've got some longer days ahead, but see how it goes. So I've just stopped off for some soup. This lady here has made me some soup, and here we have some chicken feet. Probably just stick with the soup this time. <laughs> so I've just made a bike stand out of bamboo. Pretty sure this is how the Laotians would solve a problem like this, so learning from the best. Just stopped here to have a quick look at the view.